And we acknowledge in 1 Corinthians chapter 26, as often as you eat the bread and drink this cup. And it says, as often. It means, great that we're doing it right now. Great that we do it every Sunday. But even greater, as often as you eat the bread. It's interesting how God uses the idea of a bread because you're never going to forget to eat bread. And you're never going to forget to pick up a cup. It's a mnemonic. It's a reminder. It's the genius of our God to remind us to continually proclaim what He has done for us and how much He loves us. He says that you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. That's what this is all about. Whoever therefore eats the bread and drinks of the cup in an unworthy manner, what that means is simply reverence. That I'm not just taking this thing for granted. I'm not just picking up a cookie or a biscuit and a cup I am partaking of what Jesus has done for me he has saved me I'm not unworthy and then I examine myself I examine myself not whether I'm perfect I examine myself to know that apart from him I really have no hope and thus I partake of the cup as we receive communion I want you to take a minute to examine yourself and the reality of who you are, where you stand, and who God is, and how He saved you. And as you partake of bread, can be any bread in any cup in your home, remember, Jesus has saved you, Jesus loves you, He cares about you, and He's washed away your sins, past, present, and future.